Tonight, a scathing report exposes how a nonprofit hospital in Memphis is suing the poor in this city over and over again. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The report called Profiting from the Poor says Methodist Labunner Healthcare sues about six patients every day on average and even has its own collection agency. The investigation released today by ProPublica and MLK50 found Methodist sued 8,300 patients between 2014 and 2018, including their own employees. Now that's more than Baptist at 6,700 and way more than 1,900 patient lawsuits filed by Regional One. Of course, St. Jude would not sue any patients because it only bills insurance companies. Otherwise, patients who can't afford to pay, well, they don't. As a nonprofit, Methodist doesn't have to pay taxes and made $2.1 billion in total revenue. The hospital also brought in $86 million more than it spent. Yet, according to the report, stood out from its competition in the aggressive nature it garnishes wages of patients who don't pay. And the report also found nonprofit hospitals in other cities, from Pittsburgh to Houston to Dallas, don't sue patients or try to garnish wages or put liens on homes or charge high interest rates like Methodist does. Here tonight to go one on one about the findings of her investigation is reporter Wendy Thomas with MLK 50. Wendy, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for having me. You uh, highlighted one 63-year-old woman making 12 bucks an hour. Uh, she had a two-night stay totaling about $12,000, but whose debt with interest grew to $33,000 and really, I guess, typified the struggle of a lot of patients you talk to. How are they slipping through the cracks? I mean, isn't this what Medicaid and Medicare are for? Right, so I think if Tennessee had accepted Medicaid expansion dollars, then yes, uh, some of these patients would have been caught. But I think the larger problem is that uh, Methodist financial assistance policy is such that there is a huge hole that will not be filled unless they are more generous in the financial assistance they provide to, un to patients who have insurance. Now, Methodist provided us with a statement tonight. They say it's the same they gave you. Let's show the folks at home really quick. They say we are dedicated to strengthening the communities we serve and improving the well-being of patients and families. And that commitment is demonstrated through our actions. Our organization provides more health care community benefit than any other health system in the region, over $226 million annually. We work with all patients in need of financial assistance, and our processes are consistent with those of other nonprofit health care providers. And they also sent me a lengthy list of the efforts they say they take with every patient, you know, to work out things so that it doesn't get to the lawsuit stage, offering 0% interest, 70% uh, discounts for low-income patients. So playing the devil's advocate here, what's wrong with that? If a patient owes something, shouldn't they have to pay something? Well, you could also make the argument that Methodist as an institution owes something to the public and to the community as well, um, as they don't pay any kind of property taxes or income taxes here in Tennessee, that they should be more generous with their, with their patients. I don't think anyone is saying that patients should get care completely for free, but if they're seriously low income and they're only making $12 an hour, $10 an hour, does it make sense for a faith-based institution to aggressively pursue them, garnish their wages? I, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. I don't, surely don't know that that's what Jesus would do. So if a hospital says it has no other recourse but to take action against a non-paying patient, you would say what? I would say that's not true, that there are nonprofit hospitals throughout the country, other Methodist uh, church-affiliated hospitals that don't sue patients for unpaid bills. So to say that there is no other recourse, that's just not true. The evidence does not, this does not prove that. All right, thank you, Wendy. I know you have more coming out on this story tomorrow. We'll be looking for that online. Thanks for being here tonight. Great, thanks.